In this video, I'll show you how to install Windows 11 on your Mac with the best performance settings. Unfortunately, you can no longer install Windows 11, especially the 25H2 or later versions, using Boot Camp. These days, the only reliable method is virtualization. Well, there are a few workarounds for Intel-based Macs, but virtualization remains the most efficient and compatible option for both Intel and Apple Silicon Macs. With a virtual machine, you can enjoy the full Windows 11 experience on your Mac, from running Windows applications to playing PC games, just like you would on a dedicated Windows laptop. Interested? Let's get started. Step 1. Download Windows 11. Go to the official Microsoft website and scroll down. If you're using an Apple Silicon Mac like M3, M4, M5, download the ARM64 version of Windows 11. If you're on an Intel Mac, scroll further and download the Windows 11 ISO file. Once the download is complete, go to Parallels Desktop website and get a free 14-day trial of Parallels Desktop. You don't need to buy it right away, just test Windows 11 on your Mac first, and then decide whether it's worth purchasing. Alternatively, you can try UTM, which is completely free and open source. After installing Parallels Desktop, open the app. The easiest and most reliable way to install Windows 11 on your Mac is to click on the Windows 11 icon inside Parallels. This will automatically download the correct version of Windows 11 for your system, whether you're using an M-Series Mac or an Intel Mac, and then install Windows 11 Home. However, if you want to install a different edition of Windows, first download the installer manually, as we did earlier, then click on the image icon in Parallels. Now browse and select your Windows installer file. For M1 to M5 Macs, choose the ARM version. For Intel Macs, select the Windows 11 ISO file. Click Continue. On the next screen, enter your Windows 11 product key if you have one, or simply skip this step. Next, choose your preferred edition of Windows 11. You'll then be asked how you plan to use Windows 11. For example, software development, graphic or design work or gaming. For most users, I recommend keeping the first option selected. Don't worry, you can always change this later. Before continuing, check the option that says Customize Settings before installation. For now, we'll change just one important setting, this step is crucial because without it, Windows 11 25H2 installation will show an error and fail. To fix this, open the Hardware tab. Select Hard Drive, then click Advanced. From the Location drop-down menu, change the option from NVMe to IDE. Then click OK. Now, Windows 11 will install successfully without any errors. After the installation is complete, we'll return to this configuration menu, where I'll guide you through the settings to optimize the performance of your Windows 11 virtual machine. If your Windows 11 virtual machine feels slow, you can easily improve performance by adjusting a few settings. Shut down your virtual machine.
Click the settings, the gear icon. Go to the options tab. Select optimization and move the slider to no limit. This allows your virtual machine to use maximum CPU, disk, and network resources, but only when needed. Next, open sharing. Turn off Mirror Mac and Windows user folder. This helps prevent distractions or accidental file deletions, keeping your virtual machine clean and independent, like a brand new PC. Don't worry, you can always share files between Mac and Windows, just by dragging and dropping. Now, switch to the Hardware tab. Parallels can manage this automatically, but from my experience, giving your VM a little extra power helps a lot. For example, my Mac has 16GB of RAM, so I assigned 8GB of memory to Windows 11, perfect for both apps and light gaming. In Graphics Settings, select Best for Retina Display for the sharpest visuals. Leave mouse and keyboard, network, and sound, as they are. If you want to use your Mac microphone or camera, you can enable them here. If you're running low on storage, you can expand your virtual hard drive. Go to Advanced then click on Properties and increase the virtual SSD size. Just make sure your Mac has enough free space. For example, my Mac has 500GB free, so I can expand up to that, but I prefer keeping my VM around 250GB to maintain smooth macOS performance. Once your settings are ready, start your virtual machine again and enjoy faster and smoother performance. It's also good practice to restart your virtual machine occasionally, just like a real computer. Many people ask if it's possible to get Parallels Desktop for free. Technically, there are websites offering cracked versions, but I strongly advise against downloading from unofficial sources, it's risky and often unsafe. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to support this new channel, please like share and subscribe for more Mac focused tutorials.